5C, the DNA extraction, is a relatively high throughput DNA extraction method that requires very little specialized equipment and is relatively robust. Hello, today I will be displaying how to perform a 5 seed DNA extraction for soybean seeds. For this process, we will need sterile lab gloves, various pipettes of both the single channel and multi channel variety, the seeds we wish to extract DNA from, BBs, a 48 well plate to hold our seeds, a funnel to place the seeds into the plate, a planning diagram which displays where each seed will go inside of the 48 well plate, various reagents including 70% ethanol, isopropanol, type 1 filtered water, SDS extraction medium, and 5 molar NaCl. Additionally, we will need clear tape to seal up the end result. First, we will take our plan diagram and put the 48 well plate upon it so that it lines up and we can see exactly what well we're looking at when we put the seed in. We will then proceed to fill each of the cells with five seeds. We will then place two BBs into each cell using an apparatus such as this, or placing the BBs in by hand. We will then seal up the plate and take it to the genome grinder. We will then place 2,000 microliters of SDS solution into each of the cells. We will then incubate for four hours at 65 degrees and then leave the plate overnight at four degrees. We will then add 1200 microliters of 5 molar NaCl. Following this we will allow the plate to rest for 15 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius and then centrifuge it for 15 minutes at 3600 RPM. The solution should then be left at about negative 20 degrees for approximately four hours to bring the pellet out of solution. You should then let the plate warm up on the tabletop for about 20 minutes before centrifuging it at 3600 RPM for 15 minutes. After the DNA pellet has settled, you should decant out the solution very carefully and then add 700 microliters of 70% ethanol. The plate should then be centrifuged at 3600 RPM for 15 minutes. Following that, you should decant the ethanol in the same manner as you did before. You should then let the plate air dry on the tabletop for one to two hours, and then you have your pelted DNA. You can feel free to add whatever type of buffer you like to use or type one water. This DNA is perfect for running genetic markers, but is generally of too low of a quality for sequencing or anything requiring high fidelity DNA. Thank you for watching, and I wish you well on your research.